need to talk. Why is it so hard to make friends as an adult? Why? 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 Realistically, me, I'm a Leo. I don't know about you. I've always made friends. I don't think I'm the reason I don't have friends. I don't know. Drop a comment and let me know what your opinions are. Was I right or was I in the wrong? And if I was in the wrong, you better check me, boo. This video is legit about to be a story time rant and a freaking chit chat video all in one. So get your popcorn. Let's just get into this topic. Let me tell you, if this is your first time watching me, you came to my channel at a really good spot. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and subscribe now. It is so hard to simply find friends as an adult. Why? Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not me. I'm not the problem. I'm starting to see that I have my issues. First of all, let me explain to you guys. I'm a Leo, so I automatically think I'm perfect, but I'm also an adult. I'm trying to grow and better myself, and a part of bettering yourself, you have to be honest. So yeah, I'm gonna take some fault in this, but it's not all my fault. I don't think I'm the reason I don't have friends. I really don't. If you guys don't know what Bumble is, it's like a dating app, a best friend finder, and a business finder. All three in one app. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mama, what are you doing? Bumble is a three in one app. It's actually really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever you need for your human interaction, that's a cool app and it's free, I don't pay for anything. You can pay for some stuff, but I'm not. I'm on the BFF portion. I'm gonna go ahead and say this now, this is actually my fault. I've been swiping right on girlies that are cute and that like look like me or that would be cute for like my aesthetic, which is wrong. I should not be looking at friends to see if they fit my aesthetic because their personality Damn sure, probably, you know what I mean? Like, you you know, you know, you know. I can't look for all the cute girls, especially if the cute girls ain't shit. There's a lot of beautiful ass bums out there. And when I say bum, I don't mean just like a homeless person. No, a bum ass bitch, you already hear it in my tone of voice. So I don't have to explain. You get what I'm trying to say. I catch myself swiping right on cute girls. I have to have a talk with myself. Like if you really want a friend, not an aesthetic. Stop looking for an aesthetic and look for a friend. So I'm like, okay, cool. At this point, I start reading their bios. What are you into? What are you here for? You know, I'm looking for a bitch that I could take pictures with. So as I'm reading bios, I'm like, okay, there's more to people than the way they look. What? Fast forward, I swiped right on this girl and she swiped right on me. Now, one thing about it, a lot of bitches were not swiping right on me. I have not had a lot of matches and I don't know why. I'm gonna show you guys what my profile looks like right here. For some reason, these bitches don't wanna be my friend. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm pretty cool if you ask me. You know, straight to the point, bitch. I just want a bitch that is cool. I could take some pictures with. Because clearly in my last vlog, Ooh. while I was taking Instagram pictures, a bitch needs a friend to take pictures with or go out into public settings with. So this girl and I swiped right on each other. We get to mingling. This bitch got me kind of fucked up a little bit. But anyways, she's like, oh, you're so pretty. I'm like, girl, you are too. Yes, we can link. When do you want to have a first friend date? Should I take you guys on a vlog when I start meeting these bitches? I think that would be cool. That would be a fun little segment. But anyways, I'm like, you know, when are we going to have our first friend date? I'm trying to go out. The type of friends I'm looking for, I'm looking for cute girls willing to shake some ass at the club because I'm not in that part of my life where I want to be a wallflower and look down upon everybody shaking ass. I'm not there yet, okay? I'm trying to go out. I'm trying to have fun. Bitch, I'm trying to go out tonight. I'm trying to go bust my boyfriend's tires out even though we share the same car. I just want to have a good time, man. That's it. That's all. I just want to have a good time. So we're chopping it up. Ah, ah, ah. She starts telling me like, oh yeah, this year has just been a no-go for me. I'm like, girl, if you, and this is one thing I always do. I tell people like before I ask them their information or as I'm asking them their information, actually, I'm like, you know what happened, but if you feel like 
you don't want to talk about it or you know you don't want to tell me that's totally fine i always give people that option because i know how it feels to be pressured into like well shit i gotta tell you you know so i asked her I'm like you know what the fuck happened for this year she said she lost her father which i'm greatly sorry for her i'm sorry for her loss and then she told me this is the dumb shit and this is the type of bitches i'm not trying to hang out with this bitch gonna say I'm in a five-year relationship with a guy that lives in L.A. This girl lives in Victorville. Going out with somebody who lives in L.A., which is a fucking dummy long-ass drive. <clears throat> I'm not doing it. Unless it's for some money. I'm not doing that drive. Shit. And she's like, yeah, we've been together five years. It's been long distance. We don't really talk much, but when we do talk, it's an argument. So I'm about to tell you guys what I said to her in response, but feel free to correct me. Because some people think I'm right and a lot of people think I was wrong for this. And if I was wrong, correct me in the comments below and I will I will take that. I will take that and learn from my mistakes. But this is what the fuck I said. I said, girl, why? First of all, you're too fucking beautiful to be sitting here in a long distance relationship with a man that doesn't want to talk to you. You deserve a man that's going to worship the fucking ground you walk on. And it was all she wrote for that friendship because that bitch read that message and blocked me. When I told my boyfriend, I mean, he's my boyfriend. He's going to be like, you know, I didn't do shit wrong. I told my sister and she said, bitch, who do you think you are, Dr. Phil? You can't be honest with these bitches like that. They don't know you. And when it comes to me, I would want somebody to tell me if I look stupid. I want somebody to be honest with me, baby. Like, I want, that's the type of friendships I like. But I, I, I do understand that you have to build the friendship to be honest like that. I don't know. I guess I'm just not for the fucking weak. As it says in my description on YouTube, I'm really not for the weak. I'm not. I understand I look so bubbly and cute and like fun and yada yada like, but I'm not for the fucking weak. I really am not. I don't know. It was probably a blessing in disguise. Me and that bitch did not become friends. And when I say that bitch, I'm not trying to be mean. I just call bitches bitches. So yeah, blue face baby. Hold the bitch up on my way. I ain't even on my way. After that situation, I honestly, I deleted the app Bumble. Like at this point, I mean, I downloaded it back. But after that, I deleted the whole app because I was like, what the fuck? Why is it so hard to make friends? Granted, I don't get out the house. I don't get out the house much. When I do get out the house, I'm going to Target. There's, you're not going to find bitches to be friends with at Target. Not too many bitches. The thing is, I'm like one of the only few black people in this fucking area. I want a bitch who can braid my fucking hair. Who can lay my wig or I can lay her wig. She could lay mine, you know what I mean? I'm looking for a bitch like that. I'm looking for a bitch who ain't got a baby daddy. A bitch with no kids. You guys know how girls have long lists of like requirements for dating a guy? I have a huge list of requirements for being friends with a girl. Like, I'm not taking no poop putt as bitches. I don't want no poop puttness because I'm just not willing to accept less than. And I feel like, I'm gonna be the fucking cat lady, but I cannot, I cannot change my requirements. I don't want to deal with somebody with millions of babies who, every time you try to go do something, this bitch can't go nowhere. The bitch that said this shit, her fucking kids is walking around with a pissy ass fucking pamper on because she ain't chased yeah, the motherfucker sure. for 24 fucking hours. Like that's, what kind of friendship is that? Like, I don't want to come to your fucking house every day. Sometimes, yes. Not all the time. If I want to go shake some ass, you got to figure out A, B, and C before you can go out. And honestly, I don't want to put myself in a position because I know I'm going to be like, J I'm just not going to invite that bitch. And that's not nice. What did I learn out of this situation? Let me go ahead and use journal prompts. What did I learn out of this situation? I learned that I'm not for the week. Okay. But I also learned that I guess you have to have a filter. I don't want to build friendships with bitches having filters. I don't want that. So I didn't learn that. I'm really trying to think like, damn, what did I learn out of that situation? And this is what my sister was telling me. Like when I told my sister and she was like, bitch, who do you think you are, Dr. Phil? I said, well, damn, me telling this girl, and I don't even know the bitch's name, me telling her, like, you deserve better 
was not to be mean, malicious, or evil. It was to like open her eyes and be like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? If it was me, I want somebody to tell me the same thing. But I understand, I guess I'm a complete stranger. So I guess um, as a complete stranger, that was weird. I don't know. Can you guys drop a comment and let me know what your opinions are? Was I right or was I in the wrong? And if I was in the wrong, you better check me, boo. Okay, don't disrespect me because it can go <laughs> left. But I love you guys and I trust your opinion. So comment down below and let me know how. If I was in the wrong and the right. I'm trying to think what I learned from this situation. But I didn't learn shit. I just learned, you know what? Some bitches just can't. Yeah, everybody's not me. So I can't treat everybody like me. I guess I gotta tread lightly. That don't sound like a fun friendship. Somebody walking on eggshells. You feel me? That sounds like a waste of fucking time. Well, that's my rant, chit chat, story time for the day. Um, please drop your comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're gonna give it a thumbs down, you probably shouldn't be here, you weird ass bitch. I'm out. Bye. I should have seen you was trouble right from the start. Told me so many lessons, how not to mess with broken hearts. So many questions. When this began, we was the perfect match, perhaps. We had some problems, but we working at it. And now, the arguments are getting loud. I want to stay, but I can't help from walking out. Let's go with a way. Just take my hand and understand. If you could see, I never planned to be a man. It just wasn't me. But